Hello everybody, it's Teacher Amy, and I am here to show you how to use CamTwist Studio along with hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts to use your Google Slides in your VIP Kid classroom. So uh, before we get started, please make sure that you go and watch my updated CamTwist and Google Slides tutorial. Um, you do need to have uh, that experience under your belt before we go ahead and try to create some hotkeys because the setup that I create in that video is what we're going to build off of to make the hotkeys in this video. So if you have done that already, then you have a daily set that probably looks a lot like mine over here. You've got your uh, reward pip in your corner over here. You've got your blank lessons over here, your blank rewards over here, and maybe you have some uh, lighting effects thrown in there as well. That's fine. Um, so this set is what I call my daily set, and it is already created. We are going to create three different setups today so that we can have three different hotkeys. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell Cam Twist when I put these buttons in on my keyboard, I want you to show this screen. Okay, so this is one, we've already created that one. So now we're gonna create the setup that is gonna have your reward big and you small. So we're gonna go over to the main window over here. We're gonna click on reward and we're going to swap it so that the reward is big and now you're small in the corner. And then we're gonna get rid of this lessons um, one because we don't need it for this particular setup. Okay, so I've got my um, reward big, I'm small in the corner, now I'm gonna save that setup. I'm gonna uncheck all these boxes here and I'm gonna call this give reward because that is what I'm doing when I use this setup. But I already have one created called give rewards. So I'm gonna call this one give reward too, just so I don't confuse myself, but you can call it just give reward. And then I'm gonna save and make sure before you hit save that um, you only have your blanks showing. So if you have an actual reward up there, you wanna make sure you switch it back to your blank before you save, okay? So we'll save it and then we're gonna do the very same thing. We'll go back to the daily set again so that we're back with the pip in the corner. And this time we're gonna open the lessons. Now, in my previous video, I do like to have my lessons really big, um, but for this, for the hotkey purposes, I like it to be exactly the same as the um, reward. So I'm gonna make this about the same size as the reward and I'm gonna put it in the same place as the reward because in the setup that we're about to use, we're not gonna have that reward pip there at all. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So lessons is highlighted. I'm going to swap with the video source. So now the lessons are big and I'm small and our lesson props, whatever you wanna, I call them lessons, but whatever you wanna call them. And I'm gonna save this again, but first I'm gonna get rid of the rewards in this one because we don't need that one for this setup. And go ahead and save it, making sure of course that you have your blank slides showing. And this one I'm gonna call lessons and I'm gonna save it. Okay, so now we have our three sets our setups. We've got the daily one, which is this one. We've got give reward, which is rewards big. And then we've got lessons, which is the props big and you small in the corner. Okay. So now we'll go back to the daily set here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open Kim Twist Studio. So I'm just going to move the preview over here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go up to the top bar, the gray bar at the top of my screen, and I'm going to click on view and I'm going to choose studio. Now this really intimidating big window is going to open up. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you exactly how the studio works, but don't get too caught up in the details because once we create the hotkeys, this window is you're going to shrink it down and it's going to be a tiny little thing in the corner of your desktop and you're not even going to have to look at it or worry about it. Your hotkeys are going to do all the work. Okay. So I will explain it, but don't, if you don't understand it, don't worry too much about it. Okay. So all these little squares down here, they call these buttons and these correspond to the saved setups that you have over here in your Kim Twist main window. So each saved setup has a button here. Okay. So if I click on my daily set over here, which is the one that is, is live, it is red. Okay. So it's red because over here on the program side, this is what is live. Red is live. If you're, you know, if you're in a recording studio, if you're on TV or whatever, when the red light is on, that's recording, it's live. Um, so the red side is what is showing in the classroom. And you'll also be able to see it on your preview window over here if you happen to have that open. But having two of these open is kind of silly. Um, so over on the green side over there where it says preview, and I really wish they didn't call it preview because that's confusing because this is preview and this is preview and they're not the same thing. But anyway, the green side will say instead of preview is where you're going to put the setup that you are loading up to get ready to move into the classroom. Okay, so let's say I want to give a reward. So if I click here on this give reward, it's gonna turn the button green 
because it is loaded up over there, but you can see that this has not changed, okay? The way to change it is by using these buttons on the side here. So I can do a cut, which is just simply going to replace what you see here on this side with the reward over there. So I can just cut that, okay? Or there's a whole list of different um, effects that you can use here. So I can use page curl. So let's say I put my, um, my give reward over here and then I hit the effect for page curl, then it's gonna do this fancy little bloop and then it replaces me with the reward. So there's a whole bunch of different ones here. You wanna make sure that your swap mode button here is unchecked. You don't wanna have that checked because it can be a little bit confusing um, when it's time to use the hotkeys. Um, and you want to have your time here set to about 0 0.5. Um, the time is just how long it takes for that page curl to happen, for that transition to happen. So keep it around 0 0.5 and you'll be good. Okay, so now that we know how that works, let's not worry too much about the studio. Let's just go ahead and create the hotkeys. So to get to the hotkeys menu, you're going to go up to the top of your Mac and you're going to click on user and then edit this menu. Okay, now I already have a bunch of hotkeys loaded in here and I don't want to repeat any because I don't want to mess up any of my settings. So what I'm going to do, the first one is I'm going to create the transition. So that is the effect that's going to move it from that side over here so that it's live. Okay, so I'm going to hit the plus button over here and I'm going to choose studio transition and I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick swipe just because that's a letter that I don't have on my list of hotkeys already. And then I'm going to record the shortcut. Now I make these intuitive to myself. Swipe for me is going to be control S. Okay. So two keys, um, control S. And every time I hit control S, it will make that swipe happen. So I'm going to click to record the shortcut. I'm going to do control S. I'm going to give this exclusive access. I don't hundred percent know exactly what that means, but I know that when I have it checked, everything works perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and check it. And, um, and then it's recorded. So every time I hit control S it's going to swipe from one side to the other. So if I put my give reward here, if I'm just using my fingers now, no mouse. Now, if I just hit control S it's going to swipe it over. Okay, cool. So let's swipe over to the daily set. Whoops. Control S. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna create the sh the shortcuts or the hotkeys for the three setups. So we're gonna do one for the daily set, one for the lessons, and one for the give rewards, okay? So, and you can make these whatever you want. I use control because it's a button that I don't push very often. So I'm not gonna accidentally hit it while I'm typing in the chat box during class or anything. Um, so let's do a new button for, these ones now, by the way, are gonna be Studio Preview. So the transition one, the effect is gonna be Studio Transition. These ones are now all going to be Studio Preview. And you just choose the one that you wanna do. So let's say we wanna do the daily set. I'm going to click to record the shortcut for that. And I'm gonna make it Control D for daily. Now I'm gonna do another Studio Transition. I'm sorry, Studio Preview for the uh, Give Rewards 2 that I have here. And I already have a control G, so I'm gonna just call this one control two. And exclusive access, whoops, I forgot to give that one exclusive access. And one more, we're gonna do studio preview for the uh, lessons. And I'm gonna click to record control L, exclusive access. Okay, so now your hotkeys are set up. So. I'm gonna do this all with just my fingers and I'm not using a mouse at all. I'm just using the keyboard. So if I want to give a reward, I'm gonna do control two and then I'm going to swipe it over. Ta -da! And then if I wanna give a lesson, I'm gonna do control L and then I swipe it over. And then I can go back to control D and then I swipe it over. I don't know why it's bringing lessons up in front of my face. I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, so that's how it works. Now, now that you have the hotkeys saved and they're working, um, all you have to do is take this little window and just make it really tiny up in the corner of your screen. Now, I literally like it's this small on my screen because I don't need to see it because whatever is showing up here is actually what I'm gonna see in my video feed in the classroom. So I don't really need to see it twice on my screen. It's, it's there in the classroom. Um, so I just keep it small. And the only reason I keep it up there at all is because you do have to click on it before you can use a hotkey. CamTwist will not recognize um, the keyboard unless you have clicked on CamTwist. So then it says like, hey CamTwist, th these, these hotkeys are responding are corresponding to you. So pay attention and make this work. Um, if I'm down here, so if I have a reward open and I'm clicking on the reward, right now, if I have just clicked on the reward and then I try to do a hotkey, it's not going to work because you haven't, you haven't clicked on CamTwist yet. So I just click on it and then really quick do my hotkey. 
So for every time that you want to change your setup, there will be two hotkeys. You'll have to use the one for uh, for the setup, whichever setup you, you want to switch to, and then you need the one for the transition. Okay, so you click on Cam Twist, you do the one for the setup. So let's say give reward, and then you do the one for the transition. And there you go, and that's it. So um, I know it seems a little overwhelming at first. I hope that it's not. Um, as overwhelming as it seems that, <laughs> that it is. Um, but I promise once you get used to this, it will become second nature to you and it will free up some land, some real estate on your um, desktop because you don't need the preview anymore and you don't need the big cam twist window anymore unless you're also doing some like image overlays and things like that. Um, if you're just using Google Slides, you do not need this window at all and you can completely close it during class and then you can just have these browsers open and then your um, tiny little window just to click on before you hit the hotkeys and that's it so I'm just gonna make myself a little bigger here so I hope that that was helpful to you guys I hope that you will try this out in your class and as always if you have any questions you can always um, comment on this video or you can find me in the Cam Twisters uh, VIP Kid Facebook group thank you for watching everyone happy teaching